Hi folks, today we're going to be talking about Uno Hearts. This is a game that is for two to eight players, and this game was created in 1994. Now for those of you who are familiar with Hearts, you know that in the game of Hearts you're trying to avoid getting Hearts, and you're trying to get the least amount of points. You can also uh, try to collect all the Hearts, plus the 13 of Spades, and that will in turn make all of your opponents score points. This game uh, is based on this, but it has uh, some pretty cool extra elements in it that make this game a little bit more challenging and somewhat more strategic. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this cool game. My wife and I love this game. This is a trick-taking game, and ultimately what you're trying to do is you're trying to get as few as hearts as possible, or you're basically trying to get all of the hearts. And basically the way this works is I'll, uh, I've got two hands here, and I'll show you how this is. Um, there's going to be one person who's going to lead the hand, and he's basically going to play a card. And let's say I play a 23, purple. Now, my opponent has to play a purple card. Or, if he doesn't have a purple card, he can play a wild card or any card. So, I'm going to go ahead, for him, play a 21. And therefore, I'm going to go ahead and win this trick. So, I put this here in my hand. Um, so, I play again. I'm going to go ahead and play a green 11. Uh, my opponent looks at his hand, he sees he has a green 16, so he's going to go ahead and play the green 16. Now he ends up taking the hand. So that's kind of how it works. There's no trump in this game, and basically the highest number in that suit is going to win. And um, if you don't have that particular suit, as I said, you can play anything, including a heart. So let's say, for example, I play... Let's say, for example, this guy doesn't have a green card. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to lead with the 5. Now he doesn't have a green card, so he can play whatever he wants. Since I'm trying to get rid of hearts, I'm going to go ahead and play this heart. So now, this goes to me, but since I have a heart, that's going to count against me as one point. So, basically, the game is going to continue like this, and um, eventually you're going to end the hand, and then you're going to basically count up your points. The points are going to basically be how many hearts you have in your hand. Um, as you can see, there's four different suits. There's yellow, there's purple, there's red, and there's green. And the number of the cards goes to, I think, 23. Uh, basically, the hearts are going to be one, the ones that count for points against you. Now, there's a, another card here called the 13, and you see it has 13 hearts on it. This is a big card, and you don't, if you're not trying to collect the hearts, you don't want this one. This card is worth 13 points. So, let's say I play a... Uh, green 17, and my opponent, who doesn't have a green, plays this. I'm going to have to end up picking this pile up, and I'm going to end up getting 13 points. The 8, um, as you can see, there's a little symbol here with cards in the arrow. There's two cards, the green 8 and this 8, and if you play this card, then you and your opponent are going to have to switch hands, so that kind of makes the game interesting. This is the wild card, and there's um, 10 of these, and they're each numbered 1 to 10. If somebody plays this wild card, and you can only play this if uh, you don't have the color, whoever wins the hand, or the trick, is going to have to pick up 10 cards, in this case 10 cards, from the deck. So, for example, let's say I go ahead and play the green 17 or whatever. Again, my opponent doesn't have a green, um, and so let's just say he decides to play a 10, and he'll call a green. So since he has a green 10, I'm going to have to take this, and then I'm going to have to draw 10 cards. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, and the hearts I pick up are going to go here, and those are going to eventually count against me, and the rest I put to the side. So essentially, that's kind of how the game works. Um, you're just Whoever leads is going to lead the trick, and the person on the other side has to try to play something of the same color. Um, and if he can't play anything of the same color, he can toss out a heart or any other card in his hand and play kind of continues until the game ends. Now, there's an option in this game called Shooting the Moon. But let's say you want to try to collect all the cards, all the hearts, I mean. If you can collect all of the hearts, you're going to get zero points, and your opponents are going to get 20 points, basically. So, And that's all of your opponents. All of them are going to get 20 points, and you're going to get zero. But if you don't aren't able to get all the hearts, then pretty much all the hearts that you collect are going to count against you. So that's basically how Uno Hearts works. Unique game.